Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I recently went through this like phase of skin allergy and I'm still recovering. So that's why it took me so long to go back to this channel. And also I am actually wearing a shirt that is from my own merch store. It says INFJ. You can definitely check out my personality story merch store linked in the description box below for more choices. There are many other personalities. Um, and accessories as well, like there's an iPhone case and a mug for different, um, you know, diverse personality traits and so on. And if you want to take a closer look, I can stand up so that you can see what it looks like. So uh, once again, you know, feel free to look at the designs below and also check out my Patreon for more exclusive content. So today, let's get into a more lighthearted topic about the different MBTI types and their flirting styles. This is going to be um, one of my more, you know, fun videos before I move on to a more like serious video on the Kao Yong and shadow work and the importance of shadow work in today's divisive, you know, environment in general in the world. So today I'm going to be talking about how the different MBTI types flirt and by flirt. I do mean in a serious sense, like when they actually are interested in someone romantically and they want to show that they are interested. So um, I'm only going to be talking about the MBTI personalities that I personally have some kind of like understanding of because otherwise it would just be like a projected understanding, like it would just be kind of an imagined stereotype version and that wouldn't be accurate. So I'm only going to be touching on the ESTP, ESFP, INTP, INFJ, and the ENTP flirting style. So without further ado, let's get into it. So ESTPs, how do they show interest in someone when they are like genuinely, you know, into somebody? From my observation, ESTPs are generally very sociable people and they can have a tendency of appearing like they are romantically interested in every single person. But obviously that's not true because ESTPs are actually highly selective when it comes to someone they are romantically attracted to because they tend to have a lot of casual relationships when they're younger because of the extroverted sensing function being interested in just variety of experiences. So how do you tell if an ESTP is genuinely interested? One way to tell is that they show off. So the thing is ESTPs like to show off um, quite a lot, but in front of someone that they're truly interested in, they would tend to show off even more than usual. And that's when you have to really look at how they behave differently because if they behave the same way in front of everybody, then obviously that doesn't indicate interest. It's probably just part of their personality. And another more defining trait is that they would be more self-sacrificial. And it is very unusual for ESTPAs to be super giving and I'm not saying that you know they're generally not giving people but it's just that they tend to be more selective you know compared to like ESFJs or ENFJs who have like a leading FE. ESTPs tend to be more selective in terms of their giving um, nature. They tend to be more caring towards people that they truly care about and obviously they do care about other people as well but they do reserve like a spot for people that they truly are interested in and they would definitely do things that are you know out of their convenience and would sacrifice time and effort to do for people that they're truly interested in so honestly their um, so-called flirting style or their romantic style is more towards action rather than words because ESTP's words are not really reliable when it comes to indicating interest since they are just generally very sociable and um, playful people. And moving on to the ESFP, it's kind of similar because ESFPs are also like extremely sociable and they can kind of mislead people, making people think that they're interested in every single person in the room when that's just their personality. So they naturally like to give compliments. They like to, you know, be friendly towards everybody. They like to talk to everyone. 
and um, you know it can be taken in the wrong way but for ESFP to be truly interested in someone I tend to notice that their compliments of that person would be a lot more than what they usually give so at least in my experience a lot of ESFPs like to flirt for the sake of flirting and that is kind of the, the idea of fun but when they are actually serious about someone they would tend to give more sincere compliments like about you know the person's personality um, and they are going to be a lot more um, it, it's kind of almost hyperbolic in the way that they talk about them um, but they're gonna sound a lot more romantic so for example, some of the ESFPs I know, once they get together with a significant other, they're going to say things like, you know, she's like the most um, like impressive or she is like the best um, woman I've ever met in my life or, you know, I think I found true love with her. And it's like very hyperbolic uh, words to describe them and also very like high compliments compared to just saying like you're cute or you're pretty which honestly ESFPs can say to a bunch of people so it doesn't really mean much if an ESFP says that about you um, generally speaking especially when they're young so that's a difference that you would want to take note of and now moving on to the ENTP personality ENTPs have a very strange way of showing interest. So unlike other personality types, they are obviously going to say things that are either nice or, you know, try to show true actions that they like someone, which obviously ENTPs also do to some degree. But I think that at least in the initial phase when the ESTP doesn't know if that person likes them back, they tend to show interest in a very strange way, which is through roasting so um, I don't know if this is like honestly only applies to like younger ENTPs because I only have um, observations of younger ENTPs but anyway based on my personal experience they like to roast their type I mean the type that they're interested in and typically they tend to make fun of their appearance which honestly doesn't sound like a very smart thing to do when it comes to um, establishing some kind of attraction because if they accidentally poke fun at an insecurity then I would think that the consequences are not going to be in their favor but for some reason ENTPs just went for it anyway like they just always use that method and it's like roasting the appearance. Um, usually it's something benign, like, you know, talking about, oh, your, your fringe looks funny, or um, I don't know. It's just some kind of very strange, like, small observation of that person and kind of like poking fun at that person, which honestly is not my preferred way of, um, you know, being approached or anything. But that's generally how they show interest apparently by roasting and I'm not sure if they do it to people they don't like as well but I think when they do it to people they don't like it's not going to be lighthearted. it's going to be a lot more um, sarcastic and a lot more mean whereas when it comes to people they like it's almost taken like a, a, a fun joke kind of um, you know humor rather than something that is actually really um, scathing um, that is really like sharp and you know uncomfortable to hear but yeah I don't know if that's well received among other types so let me know if you experienced something like that before or have seen people experience that okay so now to the INTP INTPs are very different from ENTPs even though they both share the same functions but INTPs tend to be a lot more shy especially younger INTPs or just generally INTPs who maybe are not in touch with like the more social aspect um, INTPs can take a really long time to show their interest the thing is though INTPs I feel like it's very obvious that they're interested in someone like in, um, in terms of like other people can tell 
but it takes them really long to like say that they are interested if that makes sense like they would kind of drop hints here and there and they would be pretty obvious like in terms of their enthusiasm towards you but they are very unlikely to tell you up front until they are like kind of really sure of themselves or sure of the situation so you know in such situations i think you have to kind of show that they, you are interested too otherwise the intp may not muster enough courage to confess especially you know if they're younger um they may really drag it out because it's just something that is really scary to them to show their feelings since they have inferior extroverted feeling they need time to like process through their feelings which are a bunch they have a lot of feelings it's just kind of not expressed or not like easily expressed yep but they would still do it and eventually I, I think they would kind of push themselves to do it um so lastly, I'm going to be talking about my own type INFJ, which is a very, very confusing type when it comes to um, showing interest because INFJs tend to be very counterintuitive. INFJs can be very friendly towards people they are just friends with. And they can be very aloof towards people they are interested in. And that's why it's so confusing because you don't know whether they are unfriendly towards you because they are interested or because they genuinely don't like you or because i don't know maybe they had a bad day or something because it can be either three possibilities i mean i have jays i feel like it's hard to tell because obviously when you are feeling like moody or if you are feeling uncomfortable maybe because like uh, you are around people you don't like or people you don't really click with you are going to be aloof right or at least be like less friendly than usual but INFJs also tend to be a little bit unfriendly towards people they like because it's kind of like a defense mechanism at least in my case when I was younger I mean I try not to do that anymore because I don't want to you know make people think that I'm a very unfriendly person but INFJs do tend to use that as a way to overcompensate or to pretend like they don't like someone and that can actually swing to the other extreme where they just look downright rude or just very unfriendly towards someone they actually like so i think it's genuinely very difficult to tell um especially in real life so the only way to find out is to ask them and um yeah they would tell you the truth that way but otherwise um we are kind of confusing i know i we confuse ourselves too and infjs also tend to change their minds so yeah that's all for today's video as i said it's meant to be a light-hearted one and next week's video is going to be a lot more serious it's a lot more about the psychology and you know talking about um how do you deal with the dark side of yourself and that is something that is really important especially for today um, today's society so once again you know remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye